Boy, we're following for you. A man and a woman are in custody following a standoff in Henderson County. But we want to warn you that some of the sounds will will play from the scene could be alarming this morning. Now, what you're seeing is exclusive video towards the end of the standoff. According to Henderson County Sheriff Bodie Hillhouse, it all started yesterday evening when Eustis police tried to stop a vehicle for a traffic violation. That's when the vehicle took off, leading to a chase that ultimately ended up in the Cedar Creek Cove area. Now, this is when a man and a woman got out of the vehicle and ran. Shortly after, officers spotted the man run into an RV. Now, officials say at this point the suspect had a rifle in tow negotiation. Negotiators, he had a hostage. Negotiators say that they could hear a woman's voice inside that RV, which they discovered was the same woman in the vehicle with him during the chase. While negotiating, officials say the RV was lit on fire. That's what you saw in that video was the RV on fire. They believe that one of the suspects set the RV on fire. After several hours of negotiating with the Henderson County Sheriff's Office Tactical Unit, officials say the man and woman came out of the roof out on top of the roof of the RV with their hands up. The woman surrendered, but the man wouldn't come down and even tried going back into the burning RV. As we're trying to get fire to them, I had two deputies go up. Uh, we actually did deploy a 40 millimeter less lethal round twice. Um, it did strike him. It, it was unsuccessful. Uh, he still wouldn't give up. So I had two tactical members go onto the roof. Um, with less lethal taser and they tased him, was able to get him handcuffed and then got him down and now he is in custody. Now, officials do not believe the RV belonged to the man or the woman, but the Henderson County Fire Marshal's office is now investigating the RV fire as arson. It was hectic at the end, um, but everybody worked together, worked well together. Uh, I want to thank all the agencies that come in and got him contained in this area. Both suspects, the man and woman, were taken to the Henderson County Jail. They could be facing evading arrest in a motor vehicle, which is a felony offense, assault on a public servant, and arson, among several other charges.